In this tutorial, we will be working on an exercise on the Generative Sheet Metal Workbench in Catio 5. As you can see here, we have an exercise file open here and the completed module open being here. And uh, firstly, let's open up a new part and name that part as Sliding Metal Cover. study and the first thing you have to do before uh, starting anything in the sheet metal workbench is to set the sheet metal parameters click on the sheet metal parameters and make sure that you have the thickness set as 1 mm and the bend radius set as 2 mm as you can see in the drawing now click on the sketcher and click on XY plane and start sketching you could use the centered rectangle in order to make our work more easier. Click on the center and drag it outwards. And now you can use the dimensioning and dimension this with respect to the drawing. So as you can see, the side view of this base wall is right here. So the vertical length is 80 mm and the horizontal is 85 plus 85 so it's 170 now you could exit the sketch and create or apply our first feature click on the wall and click on ok that creates our first element now we need to create lower stamp on this and then do a transformation on that on that now, to do that, click on the sketcher and click on the bottom and then select the centered rectangle and click on the X line, drag it outwards and click once. Now use the dimensioning and dimension this according to whatever you see here. So as you can see, this is at a distance of 6 mm and this particular thickness here is as you can see in the detailed drawing it's 2.5 mm and the height or the vertical length is 50 mm Now as we have applied the centered rectangle, the rectangle is being located at the equidistance from this, from this edge and this edge as well. Now exit the sketch and go for insert, stamping, lower stamp. Now as we had already selected the sketch while going for the lower stamp, the profile is getting selected automatically. Now you need to select the opening line. What's an opening, opening line? Opening line is the line with respect to which the lower stamp is being created or being opened. So once we click on the preview, you can see that the lower stamp is being created. And this is how the lower stamp looks like in the close view. Now, instead of creating these kind of stamps individually, we have an option called as uh, trans the rectangular pattern so just go for rectangular pattern click on the lower stamp click on the reference element click on this face go for reverse direction and specify the instances as you can see it's 12 equispaced instance so you could specify as 12 and the spacing is 14 click on preview and that completes the lower stamp transformation click on OK that completes our transformation now we have to do our last step that is to create the handles to create the handles let's go ahead and uh, click on the sketch and again sketch on the bottom face create a point let the point be created at the vertical line 
so you don't even have to do the symmetry that's the uh, that's the reason why I have asked you to start the sketch using a centered rectangle now we need to set the offset that the point creates with the edge so go for the constraint and set this and as you can see here this is 36.5 and this is 80 so half of 80 is 40 40 minus 36.5 is 3.5 so that's how we calculate that and exit the sketch now we have to do something interesting here so in order to create a bridge stamp select the point and select the bottom face and then go for insert stamping bridge and then you need to specify the values of the bridge stamp so you can specify the radius as 1 and radius 2 as 0.5 and then the height what's the height height is 4 length as 27 width is 4 click on preview all right that's good now you can click on ok now finally if we need another handle here as we can see we need another handle there we need to click on the bridge go for the mirror option in the transformation toolbar and select the the y z x plane and then click on the preview click on ok so that completes our uh, sliding metal cover body in the uh, which comes in the gen generator sheet metal workbench and uh, let's see what comes ahead thank you so much for watching